decided to create this app as a way to sort of reassert the queer people's right to public space and to exist safely and freely. So Village Life is an augmented reality walking tour. It presents a view into the queer history of New York City. So with our app, basically users can walk around the city and at certain locations they match a target image to the architecture around them. And archival footage that was filmed in that exact location is superimposed over current day New York. Oh look, it's David now. Hi David. What are you doing? You're gonna march okay. down Christopher Street tonight? Hi, I'm Jordan Friend. Hi, I'm Ann Goodfriend. Hi, I'm Sheer David. So we actually started this project as a, a class project for a course on design for social change at ITP NYU. And we had seen some statistics from the NYPD that this was in 2016, that there had been an uptick in incidents based on sexual orientation of 48% from 2015. It upset us and we wanted to find a way to basically create like a rallying cry and reclaim that public space as our own. So Nelson Sullivan, he was considered to be like the first vlogger. He just captured something like 2,000 2, hours of footage, including like the streets of the West Village, the clubs in the West Village. And you can see over there uh, characters like Rapal and Keith Haring. It's like opening like an old diary of someone. These boys are cute, aren't they? Who are you, Superman? Yeah. Out in all directions. <laughs> what happened? Small all right, girl, look at you. See. I see you got your, your smart day, boss. There are a couple like storylines that we kind of pulled out of his work. One strong one that we saw was about gentrification. So he actually, he has very explicit talks about how the Chelsea Piers are changing, for instance. So he's actually out there on the piers back in the 80s when they were basically all rotted wood. You know, the residents here in the West Village used to sunbathe here. It was like their beach. It was a, a beautiful thing in the summer. But for political reasons, the piers are going to go be torn down. So one of our initial target audiences for the app was the queer youth in New York. Um, because we feel specifically there's been disconnect between the previous generations and the generations coming after us and that people our age and younger perhaps don't know everything that the people before us have done in order for us to get where we are today. And it's not like we have to constantly relive our traumas, but it's important to recognize the contributions that people have made before us, especially considering that, you know, people who were responsible for the Stonewall uprisings were not cis white men. They were trans women of color, they were, you know, drag queens, they were lesbians, it was a whole rainbow of other people involved and that has been largely erased. And I think that's also why we get excited about using a tool like augmented reality to move those stories forward because the stories, the way we tell them needs to stay relevant because the stories are important. So it's like how do we carry them with us and we think um, you know hopefully moving it to kind of a flashier tech, a new tech can help that process. Oh, look at all these queens up here. Come on, let's go over here. Are we going down to Christopher Street? All right. 